what is up y'all it's more people back in here again yo guys we have a brand new update for the ps5 and um we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna check it out see what it is what they have to offer and anything else that's included so we're gonna go ahead and start because i haven't done it yet and um we're gonna go ahead and uh, install this right now as you can see so with you and i we're gonna find out what we got here Let's go ahead and update this bad boy. Let's get view the details real quick. Okay, so we have uh, system software up to improve system performance, and it is a uh, 21.1 through 320. And we're gonna find out here what the what else we got here. Okay, so it can tell us um kind of updated to the latest version. Uh, okay, anywho, let's go ahead and begin this right now. It's probably gonna take a minute here, but it's gonna work eventually so if you guys haven't yet make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe to the channel and do turn the bells on notifications sometimes ain't really that great but now we're here with the software so, so system software update Whew. crazy right hopefully this actually will work a little better so let me go ahead and go through so the update ps5 to the latest software version 21.1 and 3.20 so it tells us that improved system performance they updated the dual sense wireless controller device software to improve stability they fixed an issue whether it's restricted functionality of some screens when the screen reader was enabled which that that's been happening lately especially the dual dual sense wireless controller device as well has been having issues especially for everybody else who has been going through it now they fix a lot of uh, issues with games that were hidden on PS4 were not really hitting on PS5 and hopefully they will fix that issue from there because you know sometimes it just wouldn't work and when we try to hide stuff from the game from the system it wouldn't work but now it should be able to and they made um, they made process of copying games from USB extended storage to console storage in the game library so that we can actually see what's going on here now we can update this right now so some feature might not work properly if you don't use the latest controller device so right here is a new version of the wireless controller device software update available so this update is going to be quick the console will need to restart so if you I, I read a couple people had issue with the controller this is a perfect way to actually um, connect the controller so as long as you actually start the update in the beginning have it plugged in already from the jump start because if you don't do it it's going to tell you to plug it in there but you have to do this immediately because if you don't obviously you're going to have issues with it so make sure you have this plugged in way before your update but even before you start it okay so make sure it's plugged in make sure it's tied in good because sometimes it won't work as far as anything else so make sure that you do it and it's plugged in so it also tells us that the system software update improves system performance it can now store ps5 games in usb extended storage to move ps5 games from the console storage to usb extended storage go to home screen game library open the menu ps5 games you want to move and then select a move to usb extended storage we'll continue but now wireless controller plugged in leave it do not whatever you do do not unplug in the middle of this because you will obviously screw up a lot of things you know what i'm saying you don't want to do that you have an issue in your system my kind of um i might shut off on you so do not mess with it leave it alone let it fix up and it's done that's it so what else it tells so it also tells us to play ps5 games that are in usb extended storage go to the game library and copy the game to console storage from the options menu and copying games is faster than redownloading them so if you don't have the games copied make sure you put it and we don't download them on the console storage and uh you can ask oh okay so it says you can now enjoy share play with players on ps4 so you share play to invite your friends on ps4 to watch you play a game or hand over a controller they also added a couple new features actually so we've added zoom to accessibility features use 
zoom to magnify what's on your screen. Go to settings, accessibility, display, zoom to enable this feature. So now what they did with this um, chat audio, they added disable, disable game chat audio in the control center under sounds. If you turn off, turn on the settings, your voice won't be heard and you won't hear other players' voices in the game chats. But the setting does not apply to party voice chat audio, which I wish they actually like change a couple more things. But they have so many new things that they just actually put in this. Wow. The rest of it, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description so y'all can actually check it for yourself. And um, it does talk about control centers. Um, oh, for your uh, controller's remaining battery level, even while it's charging. And it also gives you. Let's read, let's check out the important ones. So they added an option to switch the video output to none HDR when using a game or app that doesn't support HDR. So you go to settings, screens, videos, video output, and HDR. And for supporting 120 H, um, obviously, HC, some PC monitors that can display 1080p to 120 hertz now supports 120 hertz display for games if you're having trouble viewing your game at 120 go to settings screens videos video output and then turn off enable 120 hertz output okay remember that one because it is very very important to see that now you can install this update enable chat transact transcription and accessibility settings to be turned off if you want to use the chat feature turn it back on there's so many things that they added on there. It's insane. Um, now, so yeah, so I mean, if you guys want to go to the list, you guys can actually check it. I'll put it in the description so you guys can see yourself. But they did add a lot of stuff on here that they did fix. There's PlayStation is always on top of the game, always having to like, you know, give everybody the best experience they can. So that's that. Remember the controller part. Remember where it's at and do it. Other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, turn the bells on, and make sure you guys put in the comment section what you guys think or any issues. Holla at me. Till then, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the time. Peace, y'all.